Well, good morning. We stayed back over here at the spot that I was at when I first arrived in Leadville. That spot was actually back there. And I just wanted something quick and simple to pull off onto because I need to go back and just get my mail today, dump and fill, and then get out of here. So this was the spot. You come in off of that road up there. And then there's this nice little secluded little spot right here. I'm not sure what that is over there. But this is all national forest land. It's got these beautiful trees. I love these trees. We go for a ride. Come on, come on, come on. Lily, Lily, Lily. Come, come, come. Come. What are you doing? What are you doing? We are off. We're leaving here. Just need to go dump my tanks and fill up with water. And then I have packages to pick up in town. I might actually stop and get a bite to eat. Like I never eat out, but Leadville actually has really good food here. I'm really surprised um, by it all. But anyways, I cannot tell you how excited I am that we're finally leaving. <sighs> We've been here for almost a month in Leadville area and three months in Colorado. So we're going to be here about another week as I meet my sister and her family and then um, headed to Glacier National Park. So I'm so excited. If you didn't know about Leadville, it is home to the ultra marathon Leadville 100, aka Race Across the Sky. I was here last year during that event where runners will run 100 miles through the Rocky Mountain terrain at all different elevations and they must run it, are you ready? Within a 30 hour time limit. It seems insane to me given the altitude at over 10,000 feet with elevation gains up to 12,620 feet, but people do it and it's an incredible energy to be around and cheer the runners on like we did last year. Leadville also has this cute downtown area full of boutique stores and incredible food. I know it sounds weird that such a small town could have good food, but we've had Mexican food, pizza, Chinese, and American food, and it is all really, really good. So there's this shipping center over here called B&B Shipping. When you are traveling around a lot, as I do, you have to find places to get your mail shipped to. So this is a private mail center. They charge you per package to pick up, but it's nice and convenient. If you know something is coming USPS, you can have it sent to uh, USPS general delivery. Otherwise, if it's coming from Amazon, you never know. So you gotta do this instead. Now I'll print the stamp. Packages. I think I've got a special package in there from somebody from the United Kingdom. We'll see. I had a little tip that something was coming. All right, we got our mail from Livingston and I'm gonna open it now. I think that there's a, something special in here. I really sealed this thing up tight. Do you like my knife? This is the knife that I got before I went to Alaska last year. It's a bear. Bear is it? Gerber. Gerber. That's it. Um, I really like it actually. It's kind of interesting because like men are always carrying um, knives in their pockets and us women we just never really do. But I tell you it is useful to have a pocket knife in your pocket. So I carry mine quite often now in my pocket. I can always find good uses for it. Let's see, it's really difficult to get into. <laughs> oh man. This is it right here. Let's see. It's really taped up. I'll say that. 
Mm, it smells good. I'm glad it got to uh, the United States safely because it is definitely taped up. All right, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Let's make sure there's nothing else in there. Oh my God, it smells good. The big reveal. So this was actually created from one of my good friends in the United Kingdom. His name is Matt. And his good friend, um, Chloe, that he works with, actually designed it and put it all together as a surprise for me. So isn't that cool? Story chasing, burnout to bliss on wheels. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Matt. I really appreciate this. I love it. I'm gonna hang it up right over here. I'll show you in just a second. And thank you so much, Chloe, for helping him put this together. And Chloe, you did fantastic work on redoing the logo as a surprise to me, and then obviously doing the artwork here. So thank you so much. It's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put it at now. <sighs> Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> I'm on a hill, so I almost fell. All right, so I'm gonna put it up here. And right now I have my picture from when I was in Alaska, but I'm gonna move it up. That's where my TV used to be. So I'm gonna move it up and put this right here. That literally is such a special tree. I am I just love it. Thank you to Matt and Chloe again for that special gift. I love it. It's the first gift I've gotten from some of my YouTube subscribers, so I really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Now it's time to go get some lunch, I think. It's already lunchtime, can you believe it? It's 11.30. All right, see you later. Oh, look at that place. That looks super cool. All right guys, change of plans. I was in town a little longer than I anticipated because I ate breakfast and I went shopping. <laughs> there was this cute little store over there. I'm gonna take my bandana off. There's this cute little store over there that had um, all these like cute little, I don't know, I call them girly things. Clothes, jewelry, perfume. And so I'll show you what I purchased. It's a um, poncho. Oh my gosh, well, I can't figure out how. <laughs> Here it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on real quick for you. You may only see the top of it. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, but isn't that adorable? Let's see if I can get it over here. But I love it, it's nice and warm. And. It's great for those cold nights out here. You can just throw it on really quick. Yeah, I like it. It's beautiful, it's that like camel color. And um, I need to actually do something different with this thing, like pull it down a little bit. But anyways, yeah, it's cute, it's me. I love camel colors and, you know, with this and then the jeans, it looks really nice. So this is the reason why I'm staying in town, because <laughs> because that, and then I went to go fill up my water and dump my tank, and the line was still really, really long, so I'm just going to go early in the morning and get taken care of, but I love this poncho. It's so girly and feminine and warm and, and quite practical. I'll show you the other thing I bought. I won't try this one on, but it's a super cute little skirt I love it and I haven't worn skirts in a long time but I like the fact that it comes down to like mm, not quite to my ankles maybe like mid calf but it's light and airy and great with my little just any shoes or sandals um, and then oh, this I really like I found some perfume and I'm hard on perfume. Like I have to have citrusy smells 
So this is called Tokyo Milk, and it's, let's see, citrus zest, rosewood, mimosa, and mandarin, and, oh my god, I wish you could smell. Do you want to smell? How do they do that in the, you know, the makeup tutorials? Is that what they do? <laughs> yeah. So this is it. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. So, yeah, I'm going to spray a little on. Oh, yeah. So I can't do, like, uh, florally smells. They just don't sit well with me. They actually smell disgusting. I mean, I, I get sick. So I don't wear anything but citrusy um, scents. So my lens is dirty. Anyways, so I am staying here probably for one more night. I need to get my video done. And it comes out, yeah, next week. <laughs> Sunday, sorry, Sunday. And I just hired a VA. So you guys know what a VA is, it's a virtual assistant. So yeah, I hired a virtual assistant to help me with some administration things and I have to get myself ahead because you guys, I've been just going, going, going and it's been crazy and hiring this virtual assistant will allow me to really be more focused on you guys and the content that I'm providing and just make it all better. So I'm really, really excited about this kind of turn in my business. It is doing really, really well, and I thank you all of you, actually, for helping me create this business, because if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have what I have right now. So I get so many messages from you guys telling me how I've inspired you, how I've motivated you, how you love my Nomad Mentorship Bootcamp course, and now I'm doing this YouTube beta course to teach you how to start your own business remotely so that you can go out and do what I'm doing. And I am really filled with so much gratitude all the time for your messages that give me feedback and tell me that I'm on the right path myself because this is what I love to do. I love helping people. I love empowering people. I love motivating people and inspiring all of you guys. And I'm just so thankful that the business that I'm doing allows me to actually connect with you guys in that way. And so anyways, hiring this virtual assistant will help with me being able to be more present with all of you and create better content and more content that you guys are asking for. That was a long story to tell you why I'm still staying here in Leadville. I need to finish up some stuff so I can give to the virtual assistant. Um, we're on a little bit of a time crunch right now. So, and this will allow me to get ahead so I'm not just editing videos right up to the time point when they're due, which sucks especially when you're on the road and things happen sometimes so all right guys so this is the end of the video in leadville i'll pick you guys up tomorrow on my way to breckenridge and we'll tour breckenridge and frisco and silverthorne and show you all the things there i'm so excited to go there i heard it's a really really amazing place and then of course i'm excited to see my family too all right guys see you in the next video bye